She Wanted to be Haunted. Written by Marcus Ewart, illustrated by Susie Garamani. Clarissa was a cottage, adorable and pink. Her paint was bright and sparkling. Her windows seemed to wink. Daisies grew around her. Squirrels scampered on her lawn. Life was just delightful, and it made Clarissa yawn. See, her father was a castle looming on a crag, whipped by winds and cloaked in clouds lit just by lightning jag. Vampires dwelt within him waltzing silently in halls. Bats above, cold crypts below, and red stains on the walls. Her mother, on the other hand, was a witch's hut. Snakes dangled from her rafters, her pots held who knows what. Rats and frogs and spells and smells, an old skull on a shelf. More creepy than the witch within was the hut herself. But Clarissa had a doorbell and welcome that. Wind chimes tingle jingled, you can't get less cool than that. And unlike both her parents, Clarissa wasn't host to anybody scary, not even one ghost. I'm lonely, she admitted. I'm lonely and I'm bored. I'm just so ordinary, no wonder I'm ignored. If only I were haunted, I'd never be alone. But look at me, I'm cheerful. I've got to change my tone. I've got to look less friendly. I've got to look less fun. I'm sick of all this daylight. I've got to block the sun. She went to see her father to ask him for some clouds. I need a veil of gloom, Dad, and shadows that enshroud. Of course I'll give you clouds, dear, but may I add advice? It's okay to be yourself. There's nothing wrong with nice. Clarissa thought that over, but left with clouds in tow. Back at home, she took each cloud and hung it up just so. Soon her skies were gray and grim, a drear forbidding sight. Who on earth would feel at home, a ghost or monster might? But oh, poor Clarissa, she'd made all her plans in vain. Because what clouds bring us isn't friends. What clouds bring is... Rain. Silver strands came streaming down for seven days or more. All it did was make Clarissa cuter than before. Honeysuckles twined around. Roses grew in bunches. Birds swam in her bird bath and then shared poolside brunches. She longed to have her clouds back, but they had all dissolved. She was sadder than before, but also more resolved. She ran to see her mother, to ask her mom for stench, some smell, just one whiff of which would make one's nostrils clench. Mom, I need an odor that drives living things away. How else will I be a house where ghosts would want to stay? Of course I'll help you, honey. But this is what I think. A true friend likes you because you're you, not because you stink. But Clarissa was determined, and so her mom pitched in. Here's a smoking bottle that I won once from a gin. Unstopper it when you get home, and out will pour a reek. Normal kinds of creatures will be gone within a week. Clarissa took the bottle, forgetting to say thanks. She raced home excitedly, a shiver in her planks. She uncorked the bottle and soon was wreathed with fumes. Nasty, noxious vapors billowed all throughout her rooms. But nothing died nor sped away, though the grass turned brown. And who was drawn toward the stink? All the dogs in town. They rolled around adorably, as doggies like to do. Instead of ghosts, fur filled the air and lots of slobber, too. I give up, Clarissa cried. I'll never get a ghost. I'm not remotely scary. I'm just unkempt at most. Though I've tried to change myself... I've only made things worse. Flowers, birds, and darling dogs, it's like some kind of curse. The cottage took a deep, deep breath. (gasps) Then she softly sighed. Could she live a happy life without a ghost inside? 
could she squash her longing for a special spectral friend? Either way, she knew her spooky plans had hit an end. Clarissa took another breath. Then she loudly said, Listen, everybody, I'm done with the undead. Since no ghost wants to stay with me, I'll try something new. Pretty things can live here now, including all of you. Hooray, hooray, Clarissa! The gathered creatures cheered, but through that throng, from the back, a pathway slowly cleared. Down that path a pony paced with golden hooves and horn. All the sunlight shone upon a snow-white unicorn. I invited prettiness, Clarissa sadly thought, so I guess that's pretty much exactly what I got. But sometimes life has funny plans that we cannot predict. The unicorn was vicious. He bit and spat and kicked. He chewed up all the flowers, then tore up the lawn. He ran at creatures with his horn till they all were gone. Clarissa's never bored now. Her best friend is a brute. And she can be herself at last. Horrible and cute. Thanks so much for listening. And if you liked this, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Because that lets YouTube know that you like what I'm doing.